I think we're good. All right. You see the YouTube? Hi. Yes, I, I do. Oh, Hi. So my name is Christina and I am an artist. And today we'll be talking about water and um, how we waste water and how we can conserve and reduce and reuse and recycle and all that good stuff. So today we'll be making a water drop using wire and cardboard and paint. And it says, save water. Hold on, am I in the clothes? Yeah, save water every day on it. So this will be making, you can hang it. Um, so this project can take a bit of a minute. So I will just talk as we're creating, um, but you just wanna make sure you have all of your materials. So you have your wire, um, you have a cutting tool. I have a bit of a, like a pliers type of thing. I also have some scissors. Um, you wanna have your cardboard, I have my palette for my paint. I'm using just blue and white and a little bit of black. And then you wanna have your brushes. So I have two brushes with me. Then we have our hot glue gun and glue sticks. And that should be everything. All right. So let's just get started, get right into it. But Let's just talk about water for a minute, okay? As I untangle my wire a bit. So, water and where it comes from. So we know that the earth is filled with water, right? The percentage of water is much higher than land. And also the percentage of water within our bodies and how much we should have um, is about 60%, right? And so how do we save water? How do we look at the privileges that we do have with water? So we don't wanna waste water. Water can be wasted so quickly, so easily, just by you running the tap it can be like about five to six to eight liters of water per minute. That's a lot of water, okay? All right, so I got some wire here. So I'm just gonna cut it with my pliers. So I just wanna grab enough. So I have, mine is kind of looped. It's a big ring of wire that I have. Um, so I wanna make sure that I have enough to make my shape. So I'm just gonna cut a good size because it's better to cut more and then you just cut away the parts that you're not gonna use instead of having to cut again. Okay, so right now I'm gonna sh form the shape of my drop, okay? I'm not gonna do a huge drop. You can do it as large as you want. Okay, so we know that the drop is like, the base of the drop is a lot um, wider than the, the top of it. And that's supposed to be like the weight of the water. So I'm just forming it into a drop. So it's very thin at the top. It's very thin in width at the top. And we wanna make sure that our base is pretty wide. Okay. So that, I don't know if you can see that, but let me use something to kind of show you the shape of it. But that's the shape I'm working with right now. And so I don't need all of this. So I'm just gonna cut it. Okay, so this is what I have now. And I'm gonna kind of twine it around once. And then I'm gonna make a loop at the top. And so this will be the part that hangs. And then I'm gonna, I can take my pliers and wrap it around the loop. So wrapping this loose end that's going up around the loop just to secure it. So what are ways that we can save water? There's so many ways we can save water because we do waste a lot of it. So when you're brushing your teeth, because you should be brushing your teeth every day, um, you wanna make sure that 
you turn the top off in between like brushing and you're not using as much to rinse. Some people rinse using a cup. Um, that can save a lot of water too. Okay. So this is how we're looking now. Yeah, I think you could see that. There we go. All right, so I have my loop at the top. So now I'm gonna take my next piece of wire and just make a similar shape to the first one. So I kind of use the first shape as the guide. So I just put them together and kind of size them up just to make sure it's the same. And then I kind of just shape it, shape the top part. So what's another way? So taking long showers, so like reducing the time of the long showers. I mean, long showers always feel good, especially when it's a little cooler. Um, right now it's hot, so I can't see anybody wanting to take a long, warm shower, but like maybe cutting down the time that you take to shower. So I'm just now cuffing it over. And we kind of, we want this to fit in. So we want this to now, this cardboard is coming in handy. All right, so this is how it looks. So I'm putting it in it because I want, we, we want to make a three dimensional form of our drop of water. And so I have my first um, sculpted wire, with the shape and then the second sculpted one goes in it, but goes in the different in the opposite direction. So if this wire is going basically horizontally, I mean, they're all going horizontally, but if this one is going left to right and then this one's going like this way, this way. Does that make sense? I think it makes sense. Okay, can you see that? Yeah, it's, it's looking three dimensional. So now the top part, you wanna make sure that you hook that onto the first, um, piece of wire and you want to hook that on really well. So if your fingers can't do it, you know, just take your pliers, hold it steadily and just kind of take it around until you get it fastened inside. All right, so I'm just going to take this and there we go. All right, so it's going to look a little loose and that now what we're going to do and my hot glue gun is very warm now. So it's ready for me to use. I'm going to glue the bottom part to keep it with the three dimensional form. So be very careful with glue guns. I, you don't wanna burn your finger. It hurts, trust me, I would know. And if you do get it on your finger, do not peel it off right away because then you will peel off your skin. All right, so getting that way I want it. All right. So I'm kind of holding it like this. All right, so I'm gonna move it over a little bit. I'm gonna put a dot and I'm gonna move the wire back onto the glue part. And then I'm just gonna put a lot of glue on the outside of it to hold it together. I'm gonna go on the inside of the wire now and just kind of put some glue there. All right, so you wanna let it dry a bit. So what's another way we can save water? Um, or at least recycle it. So, you know, like when you're waiting for the water to get hot, um, you could get like a bucket and you can just um, let that cool water or that water you're waiting for to get warm. So that cool water that's coming out, you have that bucket there and you can wash dishes with that. You can um, water the plants with that because um, you don't want to just waste the water because like if you just look like you're waiting for the water to get warm and all of this, water is coming out just gushing out just gushing out like I did remember I said like you know a lot of water comes out and it's like six liters of water per minute and you know like a um liter bottle imagine six of those that's how much per minute is coming out so okay so it's getting cool now and you always know it's getting cool because it starts to get this like fuzzy white um type of look for the glue so there wait i might there it is so you can see you can see my glue all right so it it's it's staying now but what i like to do is just to secure it again so now i know that it's staying it's not moving 
Okay, I'm just gonna secure it again with some more glue. So we're gonna cover all of this. So you're not gonna see all of this um, glue. Okay, so I'll just place this to the side for a minute and I'll just show you how we are going to right, um, cut the cardboard. So we wanna make sure our car cardboard, okay, this is, this is moving. We wanna make sure that our cardboard is flexible enough for us to shape around our, um, our drop of water. So what I'll show you is I already have some pieces that are already cut and shredded. Um, but what I'll do is I'll show you how you can do it, but I already have pieces, so we can just quicken the process that way. Um, but I'll show you how I strip the cardboard to make it more flexible in order for me to use it. Okay. Okay. So that should be good now. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. So this is my piece of cardboard. So there are like three layers to cardboard, right? So you have the outer layer, then you have the squiggly layer. You know, I call it squiggly, but you can see it's very like a wave inside. And then you have the next layer. So I just, I separate the layers first by the first layer, just gently kind of moving that first layer from the second layer. So this is the wave that I was talking about that you'll see. That is that middle layer that basically gives the cardboard a little bit of cushion, makes it a little bigger. We're just gonna strip that outer layer off. Sometimes it doesn't always come off as easy depending on the type of cardboard you use. Some come off so clean. Like this one's coming off really, really clean. Okay. So this is that middle wave-like layer. This other cardboard I had did not come off as clean, but it's okay. All right, so you wanna keep the three layers of cardboard because we're gonna use all of those layers. This nice smooth layer will be the outer layer of our drop. All right, so just now we have two layers and, and we're just gonna separate those. So just gently separating it. This is what I'm talking about. There are some parts of the cardboard that this was not gonna give. Like they probably use like extra adhesive. But just take your time and just separate it. It's gonna come apart. All right, so I'm gonna do that thing like the other cardboard I just showed you, but I just kind of go to the next side sometimes. I'll also show you what I do when the cardboard is not doing what I want it to do, when it's not being acceptable. Okay, so like if I reach the point where this middle part, you see how it just doesn't want to come off. I sometimes just take a box cutter or scissors and just go between those lines, just making it more flexible because this still does the job. So just being careful. I don't want to pierce through the next side. You just want to gently glide on top. Just creating the same um, texture as this. It's like a little accordion type of thing. There we go. All right, so we have the three layers pretty much separated. Okay, so then you're just gonna now, with this one, 
just gonna cut it up. You can do it into chunks as small as you want, as large as you want. But we just wanna cut it up so that we can start forming it around our water drop. Okay. I have them all cut up now. Right, so I'm just going to rest those to the side. So we're going to pick up our, this is now the foundation of our drop. Okay. It's not finished. We have some pieces to add to it. Let me just four minutes some more. Just getting it exactly how I want it. All right. So now I'm going to take some more of my wire. And basically what we're going to do is just wrap it around. So like I said, you want to make sure you cut this a little bit more than you probably need. Okay, so I think I should be enough. My drop isn't too large, so I don't need too much wire. I'm just stretching it out. Okay, so now I'm gonna start from the bottom and work my way up, or you can start from the top and work your way down. So I'm just gonna hook it onto one of the wire pieces. So one of the foundation pieces of the wire. All right, I'm gonna take my pliers. And kind of just lock it in there. So we're definitely going to use the hot glue gun for this part. So with the hot glue gun, it takes a few seconds for it to dry well. But it definitely does the job. I'm going to clump up there. Okay, so now I have my foundation piece and then my extra wire that is going to be looping around. So I just move my finger around, forming the shape of my drop. Make sure to keep your wire round. You don't want it to get square. Okay, and so now I'm kind of just moving up. So just moving up, going around and around. Okay, so now what we're going to do, so I'm just forming it. Okay, so you're going to reach the point where it just keeps moving because it's going to move. So we have to glue it down. Okay, so now I have about just two layers around so far, but now I'm gonna begin gluing it so that it doesn't move too much. All right, so I'm just taking my glue, starting with the piece that I started with, just gluing that down there so that it doesn't move. Okay, so be careful not to touch the area where the glue is because this is hot glue and this is wire metal. So you are going to feel a little warmth coming from your wire. So just be careful not to touch the area that you're gluing. Just always touch the other area. Okay, so this is what's going on right now. So the foundation part is like the messy part. It's not, it's not a pretty part. Okay. Sometimes you just wait a few seconds for it to properly dry before you move on. There we go. Hey, it's dry.
Getting there. So like I said, you know, when it's dry, when it gets like this really cloudy color, it's very, when it's clear, it's still not dry, but when it's cloudy, it's definitely dry. It's crazy how strong this glue is. Okay, and just keep on gluing. It's getting more stable the more I um, move around. I know a lot of people drink out of water bottles and nothing's wrong with a water bottle. Um, but the ones that you just like dispose of after one use, always try to get like a bottle that you can just wash and use again. And you definitely want to get glass bottles. Cut down on the plastic. To drink your water out of. That way you can just keep refilling instead of disposing of it after one use. Right. Slowly getting around there. In case I'm wrapping again. Still holding it together because some of my pieces are still not dry. So I'm wrapping, bringing it down some more. So now you can have like layers in between. Um, so you can wrap again. I usually find that this is enough for me because the cardboard pretty much um, covers a lot. Okay. All right, so I have like a huge excess piece. I'm just gonna cut that off. Just gonna place that to the side. I'm not gonna need that. So the, the glue, the part to glue it takes a bit of a minute. So once all of your glue is dried, you just want to hook this last piece around the drop. Alrighty. So this is how we're looking. Can you see that? Yeah, you can. All right, awesome. Okay. I can show this box in here properly now. Okay, so I have now the foundation, the shape of how I want my drop to look. So now we're going to move on to the first layer of Covering our drop. So I'm getting my cardboard. Remember we separated it. So the first part I'm using is the wavy part. So the very textured part. I'm just now just mashing it within itself just to make it even more flexible. So there are two ways you can wrap your drop. You can go 
around it this way, or you can go up and then down. I prefer up and then down. Um, for me, it works better. But if you prefer to go around it, that also works. Okay. So my first one, like the first one, you could honestly use a larger strip. Okay. And that would cover a lot more for your start. But it's up to you. You can use really small strips. Like if you want to take your time and do like small strips, that's also okay. okay. So what I like to do is just start with gluing the cardboard first and then finding on the wire the best place to put it. For me, that works out easier than putting the wire and then the card, then gluing the wire and then putting the cardboard on. Okay, so now I'm gluing underneath the strip. So glue the glue gun, like to me, this is how I always look at it. Like it, it, it dries fast when I don't want it to dry fast. And then it dries slow when I want it to hurry up. So it does still dry pretty quickly in comparison to other glues that you would use. So I'm just holding it there. We wanna make sure that it really forms to our wire. And if you see like there are areas that is not touching the wire, you could just take your glue and just glue that area. And then just hold it there. So for this first one, it kind of covers a lot, like I said. So I'm just gonna glue. There we go. Wait. There we go. Okay, so we have a large portion of our drop already covered. Okay, taking my next piece now, I'm gonna add it to the side. So now I see that because this covered the bottom, I can pretty much measure it to it and say, okay, I don't need all of this. So I'll just cut that end off because I don't need it. All right, so I just cut it. Okay, perfect. So I'm going to glue the top like I did before. Okay. And then I'm gonna just apply the glue now. Okay, now that I've applied that glue, I see now the areas that need to be glued down, the sides and the bottom part of it. Just holding that glue until it dries. Okay, I'm running out of glue. I'm just gonna stick another one there. Okay, so now I'm looking and I see that this area is still open. So I'm just gonna put some glue in there and just press it down. So you just try to find the areas that need some glue. And off, then you just press it down. Okay, so already we're almost done because we already have all of this. It's just a small part inside. No, all right. So I have all these flexible pieces. So I'm just gonna use the ones that I initially cut. So I kind of just sift through and see which like pieces I want to use. This one seems to be an okay fit. 
Oh yeah. Okay, so measure it, see how far you need to go. I need to cut about here. Okay. All right, so then I just, like I did before, just glue the top part. And the sides, the top sides. And then just sticking that there at the top, holding it. And I'm gonna just apply the glue to the bottom part and the sides now to bring it. And then I'll just have like a small piece. I pretty much just have to cover, but. All right, she's almost covered already. Wow, that was fast. Okay, so I have a small piece here that I cut off from the other piece. Smash it on itself. Okay, so I definitely don't need all of that, but this one's kind of shaped a bit odd on the side. I'm just gonna cut it to the shape of it. So this is the last piece we have to cover. I think this is cute as it is. Like if I was making some type of bird cage type of thing. Just a little too big. Okay, then I'm just gonna glue the top. This is a small piece, so I could pretty much glue the whole thing. It's not gonna dry that fast. And just sticking that down. Did I just stick this the wrong way? I just stick this the wrong way. It's okay. It's okay, we can fix that. Okay, now I just have this really tiny piece that was supposed to go <laughs> the other way around, but that's okay. Glue that down there. All right, so this little piece is honestly fine. Just gonna glue the surrounding area. Okay, so now I have the form of my drop. Uh, now you can definitely see it. So now we're just gonna take the thinner layer, which was like the bottom or top layer of the cardboard. I have a lot of it in front of me. Okay, so you can cut these into strips too. You can go vertically or horizontally, whichever you choose. I'm gonna stay vertical because I started that way. So this one covers a lot of it already. So I'm just gonna glue the top and the, the top side of cardboard. All right, take my form and just glue that around there. And now this is our smoother layer and we want the smooth layer because then the paint will just apply a lot smoother. Now, if you want a very textured drop, you know, do that, go for yourself. But I kind of want my drop to look as smooth as possible. That's what I'm gonna do. These little things are folding in itself. I'm not afraid of the heat of the blue gun. I'm kidding, I am. It does burn. It does. All right, so this is this this piece was like perfect. Like it's very flexible. It's moving all the way around. I'm happy with this piece of cardboard because it's very thin, so it's not as thick. So the thinner it is, that's the trick. The more flexible it is, the easier it is to apply. Okay. I'm gonna slip this right here because this isn't cutting, this isn't folding how I want it. Okay. I just love how organic this is. This just looks 
Okay, so that's like the smooth part going on top now. Okay, so you can put as many layers as you want. Um, usually you only need two, which is the first layer with the texture one and then the thinner layer, which is the smooth part. Okay, I don't need all of this, so I'm just gonna cut a piece of this off. I'm just moving it around just to see how I want it to go on. Right. Yeah. I'm just doing the top part. So I know a lot of us have like running water in our houses and we have to look at that as a privilege because there are a lot of people even here in the Bahamas who don't have the privilege of having running water in their houses um, who still have to go to the pump and get water. So you always want to remember that's another reason you don't want to waste water because there are a lot of people who have to be mindful of people who don't have that access, that free access to just be wasting water while they're brushing their teeth or wasting water while they're washing dishes and just having the water on on the side of them. We want to make sure that we think of how not everyone has the same access to things and be grateful that we do have that, that we do have the access to running water in our homes and not having to go to get water. Should always be grateful. Be grateful. Okay. Almost done. I'm just having to cover this small patch right here. I'm just gonna cut a circle because it's basically just one big circle. really one big circle. So now I'm just gonna I'm gonna glue that on there.
Okay. Now I'm just going over some areas that I don't feel like are glued down well. So just sticking some more glue to go so it can um, close smoothly. I don't want to touch this, so I'm just going to use my scissors to touch that. Okay. So you can make like so many things out of like using just cardboard and wire. Like just look at Junkanoo, right? They use a lot of cardboard and a lot of wire to make forms. So this is nothing new. For people who know a lot about Junkanoo and how it is to make the Junkanoo sculptures, cardboard and wire is your best friend because you can you can just recycle cardboard. You can find cardboard pretty much anywhere like at any grocery store almost any store honestly like big cardboards small ones um and you can just keep recycling them so they're good to reuse so like i said we're just closing up some of those areas and so we want this drop so the purpose of us doing this drop this um, water drop is so that we can have this as a reminder for us to save water every day, right? So be mindful of how much water we use and how we can still recycle the water that we are using. Okay, now I'm reaching, I reached the top part of my wire, my drop. I'm just gonna find the thinnest piece and just kind of wrap that around there and glue that there. I want it to look like that. I don't know if you could see that though. I hope you did. Okay. I'm just gonna put some glue in the area that I am gonna put this thing. Be careful, don't burn yourself. And just wrap that around. All righty now, we are getting there. We are definitely getting there. Still have some areas. Just gonna close up some more. Okay. So mine's still pretty much textured, but if you wanna go over it again with finished strips, you can. You can cover up some more areas if you'd like. I have some folds in this area. So if I want that covered, I can just take a thin piece and just cover that. I'm getting glue everywhere. This glue is like spider webs when it's moving away from the surface. If I want to cover that and I'd be like, I don't like how that looks, you just keep, you can layer, like I said, you can layer as much as you need to, or as much as you feel like you need to. Um, but I like mine looking as organic as possible. Um, if you want it to look extra, extra smooth, like you can even get some paper um, and put that down. But I don't think that's necessary. There's so many ways you can do this. Like this is not the only way to do this. So many different ways of sculptures that you could do. Like you could do, if you want to make a big water balloon type of thing, you could put plaster in a balloon and it'll make the shape of it. Um, or on the outside, you can dip it. Lots of ways to do sculpturing and sculptures. All right, so now I'm going to paint my surface. So 
So that we can see, like most times you see water is pretty clear, especially when it's coming out of a faucet. Um, but we're gonna paint it blue. So we definitely know this is a water drop. And cutting off the excess. Okay, so now we're going to paint our water drop. And so we're, I'm just using primary blue and white. And like I said, a little bit of black. Um, I don't really need the black if I don't want to add the black, but I can use the black to make more depth. But for me, my blue works pretty well, so. Okay, so I'm just gonna add some blue. And then some white. So like this, this is, where we're, this is our goal. This is what we're aiming for. So I'm going to get a brush. You can use a larger brush if you have one. I'm gonna take some of my blue, take some of my white, and I'm just gonna mix those together. More like a good amount to cover the whole drop first, and then we'll add like the threads. Okay, so this is the color that I am making. All right. So I'm gonna just start from the top and work my way down. So I seem to be working vertically today. You can go like around it, but for me, this is what's working out. I'm just painting the whole drop. Your hands are gonna get messy, so that's a warning. Um, I don't mind messy hands. Acrylic paint just washes right off, but try not to get it on your clothing. It's very hard to get acrylic paint off of your clothing. It stains. So if you do get it on your clothing, just grab some Joy or whatever detergent you have right away like don't wait because if it dries on it like i say all the time like acrylic paint turns into hard plastic or plastic once um once it dries so you want to take that off immediately okay Adding some of that. I'm gonna add a little bit of water just to make my paint a little bit more flexible because my paint is pretty thick. Okay, so just painting the whole drop. So you definitely wanna do your research as to how you can save more water, things you can do to save more water. Um, So I'm almost done with painting the drop. It's just the base now that I need to paint, but I got pretty much everything else. So like I say, your fingers are gonna get messy unless you have on gloves. Um, I'm used to getting my hands messy when I'm painting.
Okay, now my whole drop is painted. I'm gonna rinse my brush off. I wanna rinse the brush off thoroughly, making sure all of that paint comes off. Just gonna dry it. Okay, I think I'm gonna need a little bit more white. I'm trying not to rest my drop down if you haven't noticed, because the paint at the bottom will definitely stick to whatever surface it is on. Okay, so I wanna add a little bit more um, highlights and depth to it. So I'm gonna probably get a little bit more blue too. There we go. I'm gonna start with my highlight. So I just take my white, not too much white, just create a round motion. I don't know why I'm whispering, but a round motion. Okay, can you see that? Yeah. Just trying to give it more of a realistic water drop type of thing. And I'm just gonna blend that now. I'm gonna show you. So I'm just blending that in. Can you see that? Yeah. And I'm gonna turn it around and do that again. I'm just blending that. Kind of have a little bit more highlights in other areas. That's how we're looking. I'm gonna rinse my brush off now. Let's dry it off. We're gonna add some of our blue without mixing it. Just gonna add it on the inside. We're doing the same like motion that we did with the white, like kind of going around, following the shape of the drop. And that's how it's looking. Can you see that? Doing the same. On the other side. I'm just adding the depth that I think would be best. Add some, just in some random areas. I'm just gonna rinse my brush off. That's how we're looking. So I'm just gonna take my thinner brush now, dip it in some water to get that nice point. So with white or black, I'm gonna use some black. I'm just gonna write save water every day and then just put it in a few areas. I'm gonna find like the driest area right now. So you can wait till yours dry. Um, but I'm just gonna put mine in. So save water every day. It's definitely something we need to live by.
or you can put like safe water daily. have mine now. I'm going to put it in another spot, but I think I'm going to do it in white in another spot. You can make your writing as fancy as possible. I don't have the best handwriting, but just want to make sure that I put my message on it. So just save water every day. Where do you think people can uh, hang their water droplets when they make them Christine? Um, you can hang it from the ceiling, like if you can. Just want to make sure you get permission to do that if you are with your parents. Um, you can hang it from the ceiling. You can hang it from a screw out of the wall. Just want to make sure the screw is out enough. So probably like a three inch screw coming out of the wall and hanging it on there. Um, it's like a nice little reminder to see. Yeah, just a reminder. I'm gonna hang mine in my studio, so. I think I'm gonna have mine coming from the ceiling. Okay, and then that's it. You can decorate however you want or with however big of words you want. If you want your words to kind of wrap around it, you can do that too. Um, but like I said, you can hang it from a ceiling, from a screw, but this is just to be a reminder to save water every day. Like if you need it in the bathroom with you or by the kitchen, just so that you can remember, you can do that too. Um, but yeah, let's just remember to save water every day and try to reduce the waste and find other ways how we can recycle our water by either putting it in the garden or washing dishes with it or different ways. And just remember that, you know, we have the privilege of having running water in our houses. And yeah, so thank you for taking the lesson with me today. Thank you for teaching us. Yes, I had a lot of fun. Okay. <laughs> and you are our last lesson of the I am? virtual summer program. So thank wow. you. Wow. Ending with the bang. <laughs> <laughs> um, I hope everybody enjoyed. Um, the video is going to be available on YouTube after. So continue to make comments and share um, the things that you make with us as well. Thank you, Christina. Yeah. You're welcome. Thank Bye. you guys. I had a lot of fun. Bye. <laughs>